Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to use the post-it notes techniques. Well, this is the main tool of design thinking. It got the following characteristics. It's one of the tools by which design thinking is more known, also called post-it tool techniques. It is mainly used in the stage of empathizing and defining in a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology. However, it can be used with any agile methodology, Scrum, a Lean Startup, etc. Allows to conceptualization to award association and images. It works very well when you are working as a group. The components are post-its, keywords, image, and association. Okay, so when you're gonna start develop your um, development with the post-it techniques, the first thing that you have to have are post-its. You got post-its out of different colors. It's very important to have different categories. So the categories will be determined by the color or the development that you are doing. Sometimes people uh, post the notes in walls, in tables, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that you have a big uh, space to put everything together. It's really good also if you work as a group so all the members of the group can interact and can share their ideas. After all the words and roles are clear, you start writing keywords. The keywords are very important because allows to share and understand the components of a concept. So it's very important that you be specific. So if you have to write 10, 20, 30 words, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that you can show your idea and the people understand what you are saying. After that, if you want, in the keywords you can use images. The images are very important because allowed to understand what you want to say. Sometimes if you just put a word, people misunderstand your idea. So that also is very important because allow you to show what you want to say. Be specific and conceptualize. When you have put all the categories with the specific color, when you have write and put all the keywords with their images, you start put everything together. So you start associating. When you associate, you group. You put everything in groups and you also put categories. The categories are very important because that will show the structure of a thought. So it's very important to do that. When you have all the idea and all the mapping put all together, you have to have an insight. An insight is a result. If you don't have a result every time that you use a different kind of technique, it means that the tool is not working. So it's always very important to share your thoughts, but have a focus in the development. It's not just that something looks good, it's that it's helping you to understand what you are doing or what you are saying. It's very important to generate an insight or a concept that allows to define, device, or evaluate the relevance of a project or an idea. So that is very, very important. Interact as a group. Take account the opinions of the members of the project, categorize them, associate them, and classify them. That is really important as well. And hierarchize ideas by groups and depend those that are considered more relevant. So your hierarchy is bigger if the thought that you have is more relevant to the project. So that is also very important. This tool is very important for design thinking and agile methodologies because allows to share and interact the whole group. So if you have a thought that people understand and follow, 
it means that it can be developed. So that is why it's so important. Thank you so much. I hope this video will be a big help in your development. Please subscribe to our channel Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Remember, every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one design thinking and agile methodology channel in the whole YouTube universe. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time.